Mm -hmm. Probable cause, the PC there, Swim Washington? Yes. A reasonable cause, one that has a good chance of being true. Mm -hmm. A good ground for suspicion yeah. that a crime has been committed. Mm -hmm. uh, probable cause, yes. You know, I've been arrested multiple times for probable cause. Yes. I was arrested at the Port Angeles Public Library. Yes. For the probable cause arrest that I had committed theft to. Yes. On February 9th of this year. Went to jail. Yep. And I uh, was investigated. Isn't that right, uh, their officer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I was staying right here that night. Yeah. But you waited two weeks to have me arrested, thinking that, well, we'll get him for this right now. Mm -hmm. Then there's the probable cause arrest that took place for the allegation of violating the protection order twice. Yeah. On December 31st of 2015. Oh, January 4th. <laughs> well, I informed law enforcement that I did not get any notice or opportunity to be heard. Yeah. That uh, my wife didn't sign the protection order. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that was based upon the dissolution of marriage of Brent Basden. Yes. Where she documented all of these crimes and Brent did not notify the sheriff's department at the time. Yes. Of how criminal mm -hmm. the parenting plan was as an accusation of the probable cause. Yes. Of assault. Mm -hmm. Child abuse. Mm -hmm. Domestic abuse. Yes. Sexual abuse. Yes. And um, you just decided that you're just going to have me met. You know, there's this problem with probable cause. Yes. As a resident of Washington State, yes, we did go to counseling, uh, well, probably two to three times. Yes. We had a couple bumps during the marriage, but we were married for 10 years. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, those that go to counseling, they want to stay married. They don't want to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. Now, I can think of the counselor that we talked to in SWIM. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could call him to the witness stand and any documentation that he has about the counseling sessions that we had with him. Yes. There was a local pastor of an Assembly God church that we went to in SWIM, Washington, that did counsel us a couple times. Yeah. We did not use abusive conflict when uh, trying to work out our differences. Yeah. Probably going to subpoena them for any documentation that they have of the Budnick family. Now, when you have this probable cause of the petitioner accusing the respondent of any crime, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you have to protect the respondent's right to a criminal prosecution. Yeah. You have to investigate the probability of what they're saying right now. Mm -hmm. And then we have to go through a jury trial without your mental health. It has to be an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime has, shall have been committed. Yeah. Which district shall have been pre pre previously ascertained by law. Mm -hmm. Then I have the right as the respondent in the disillusion. Yes to be informed of the nature and the cause of the accusations of the parenting plan. Then I get to confront my wife. Mm -hmm. I get to put her on the witness stand. <laughs> and I get to ask her, yes, uh, could you please tell me when it was that any of these accusations took place? Oh. Well, on Guam I had you arrested, yes. And I had uh, multiple evaluations. And on Guam, I was uh, on probation. Yeah. I had satisfied uh, the requirements of the Superior Court there. Yes. I moved back here. Yes. And I had not talked to you or my sons when I got here. Right. <laughs> then I have to have a compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in my favor. Yes, that's right. And the state would have to pay yes. for an indigent yes. accusation of a parenting plan. 